So now we're going to have a look at uh, some of Mike's other uh, beautifully made lens adapters here. So why don't you take us through it? Um, okay, well, we, we probably have over 50 different lens adapters uh, that I've designed and had made over the years. Um, basically what we do is whenever a new camera comes out, the first thing I do is think, you know, what other lenses will go on there. Um, and, and I'd say at the moment the two most popular mounts that people want to put lenses on are E-mounts and Micro Four Thirds. Okay. Um, now for the Sony E-mounts, um, the PL is really popular. Um, this is the latest version of our PL to E-mount adapter. Um, so you know, we've got stainless steel front, our own E-mount which is also stainless steel. Um, now it comes with a support toe with helicoiled uh, quarter inch Very nice. Uh, and it's also shimmable. So um, it leaves the office with it with a shim, so it sets to the correct distance. And I love the blue anodizing, or the yeah, turquoise well, anodizing. Yeah, you know, it's, Very sexy. A, it's a color that we chose and we've right. stuck with. Um, and you know, it comes with a shim kit as well. So if your lens is slightly out or your camera is slightly out, then you can, in theory, compensate by shimming the adapter. That's and great. Um, so, uh, do you ever run into back focus problems with wider lenses on on these? Con Conversions? Up until now, no. And, and in actual fact, um, you know, we never used to shim the E-mount adapter. Um, and up until now, no one's ever asked us to, you know, make any adjustments. But we thought just to be sure, you know, we'll, we did an update, we changed the design slightly, right. and, and we've added a shim. So, you know, if someone's using a zoom lens, you know, then they can make sure that the adapter is just set up right so that the lens will hold, hold focus. That's great. And these ones with glass in, what are those? Uh, so yeah, the, um, the other thing that people want to use is their B4 lenses. You, okay. know, uh, you know, over the years people have you know, invested in B4 glass and maybe now they're sitting on the shelf doing nothing. Um, one of the most popular adapters we have is our um, modular B4 system, uh, which is basically a B4 to Canon EF which will go straight onto a C300 or a Canon 7D because um, it's APS-C or near enough Super 35. Right. Um, you do have to use the two times on the lens. That has to be engaged. We did that to make it cost effective. So optically, the image is being stretched partly by the two times on the lens and partly by the optics in the adapter. Uh, now, the other nice thing, because we made it modular, um, with a simple dumb adapter on the back, we can go from Canon EF to E-mount, or Canon EF to FZ, okay. or even Micro Four Thirds. You know, there's a number of different options. Um, so with, with, with the main front part, which has got the optics in, right. and using an inexpensive uh, dumb adapter at the back, uh, this is a, a, a B4 solution for lots of different cameras. That's fantastic. So you're giving old hardware a new life for yes. in almost uh, any of the new cameras. That's right, yes. It's and fantastic. Yeah, we also do uh, a B4 mm -hmm. adapter specifically for Super 16 or okay. Super 16 size sensors. Okay. So here we've got um, an optical B4 adapter to Micro Four Thirds. So this will work perfectly with um, any of the Blackmagic cameras that have a Super 16 size okay. sensor. Yeah. So this this has also been very popular Does at the moment. Does it work with a digital Bolex? That's C-mount, right? It, yeah, we do a C-mount version, so it will work with a digital Bolex, okay. yes. yes. Very cool. Okay, great. Mike, thank you so much. Thank you. Know? you. So we're at uh, MTF at uh, NAMP15, newshooters.com, Bruce Logan, ASC, signing out.